The day of the big party, I was to stand at the entrance to thank each person that came in. But really, I was just making sure they followed my specifications. I had declared the rainbow theme to the party, and the category for the attire of the night was rainbow bright realness. My cousin Barbara came in in a spot-on canary yellow costume. I'm impressed, I said, as we kissed each other on the cheek. Then my cousin, who is actually named Patty, came as Patty Green. Patty, little green bows, little green dress, little green glasses. I love the detail. Get in there. Get some jello. Then my cousin Brenda came in, dressed as Rainbow Bright. It was a pretty good costume. It looked like her mom worked pretty hard to make it, but I knew I would have been a much better Rainbow Bright. But I also wasn't an asshole, so I hugged her and welcomed her and said, congratulations. Then they came. Like 10 or 12 kids dressed in little black suits who I did not know or recognize. My mother welcomed all of them and their strange parents. And I was like, oh, hi, hi, excuse me. <laughs> you must be at the wrong place. This is my birthday party, my Rainbow Bright themed birthday party. You're not dressed for the occasion and I don't really know who you are. Baruch, my mother snapped. These kids' parents work with your father. Stop being a brat and say hello. You did not discuss this with me, I said to my mother. I don't have to discuss anything with you. Say hello, my mother said, looking very angry. My father's co-worker's kids came from rich families. Both of my parents came from poor families, and these kids could smell it. One whispered to his brother as they were putting away their coats, Dad said this kid was a faggot. Look how he's dressed. He was right. I said, you're all welcome to fuck off and die. <clears throat> this was when my mother slapped me in the back of the head harder than she probably wanted to. I screamed, how dare you, and ran away. While this party's over, I walked into the grown-up lounge where all of my aunts and uncles were drinking and smoking. My uncle Freddy picks me up and says it's time to cut the cake. I say, we don't need to cut the cake. This party's over, Tio Freddy. My life is ruined. Why, mijo, he asks. My mother invited kids. I don't know, and they're not dressed as Rainbow Bright characters. Why is it so important that everybody be dressed as Rainbow Bright characters, my uncle asked. I wanted to say, because it is incredibly depressing to live in a world where everyone is constantly rolling their eyes at your existence. It's very hard to be a kid and live in fear that your family even your parents might start to think you're a freak and start calling you a marica or a maricon, just like everyone else. And for one day, I wanted everyone to be as sparkly and fabulous as me. But I didn't have those words, because I was five. So instead, I just said, um, I don't know, uncle, because Rainbow Bright is amazing, and if you don't like her, you suck. <laughs>